Hi, everybody. I pose this question to you. Have you ever been wronged by somebody who acted oblivious as to why you were feeling some type of way? Perhaps you had to cut ties with this person because of repeated offenses, and then they're hitting you up acting like they don't know what they did wrong or what happened with you, what happened to you, what did they do, all right, or what's going on with you. And you kind of feel like they know very well what they've done. Let it be known in the comments, okay, guys? Thank you so much for joining me on this video. Always happy, always thrilled to see a lot of you here, all right? Thank you so much to my new subscribers who are joining the channel for the first time. I'm very, very happy to meet a lot of you here and see you guys joining the channel. Very appreciative. Thank you so much for the returning subscribers. I love you guys. For my members, for all those who stop in once in a while, none of you are ever forgotten. And thank you so much for, you know, having a big hand in this channel's growth. It's very, very appreciated, okay? So listen, you're going to have a lot of people who slighted you acting like they didn't do nothing to you, all right? There's going to be a lot of people that irk you or who disturb you, who hurt you, who abuse you, who traumatize you, and then they act like they didn't do anything or they act like, you know, you're the one that's tripping or you're the one that's, you know, misremembering information or that's not how it went. People are going to be acting like this. They just don't know what they did, all right? And it's gaslighting. It's heavy gaslighting. Now, gaslighting is a thing where a lot of guilty people, you know, they'll use th this tactic here, a narcissistic tactic, where they try to like downplay or even like completely deny that anything of the sort happened, right? And so here's the thing. These folks know what they did, all right? These folks know exactly what they did, but they don't want to have to admit or come to terms with whatever it was that they had perpetrated against you, all right? And so here's the thing. You know, we know what people do to us, right? We know how it affects us. We may show them by, you know, our body language or our words, most importantly, that we feel some type of way about mistreatment, right? And so it's like people are going to make it seem like, well, they didn't do that or it wasn't that bad or their actions were not, you know, how we're perceiving it is the not the way they were trying to make it seem like. It is crazy. I had an ex-friend who I used to go to college with uh, from one of my previous college programs back in 2015, all right? And at first, her and I got along pretty well. I liked her a lot, and I liked her company at the school, at the college, right? But then when it came time to, like, go out or hang out outside of the college, she always had a ready excuse, and it was the same one she always had. She just wanted to hang with the other girls at the college. They were, they had their own plans. They had their own things going on. So of course at first, you know, it didn't seem, you know, like a problem. I'm like, oh, right. You know, I wasn't relying on her for a friendship. She was just somebody I wanted to hang out with, but she always had plans with these other people. But here's the thing. This friend had a temper, right? So when she would, you know, she would actually get into spats with these groups of friends who she so desperately wanted to go out with. And so when she would get into these spats with these friends, then she would hit me up. You know, then she would say, hey, do you want to hang out? Hey, now is a good time, you know? And she would verbalize why. She would say, listen, you know, these girls are fighting with me or, you know, we got into an argument, so they're not inviting me around. So I'm ready to hang now. You know, and so I soon caught on to the patterns that she was taking my friendship with her as a joke, as some sort of backup plan. And I was like, nah, like this feels wrong, you know? And I started to see her in a different way because no matter if she was up or down, I was there and she knew that. But it's like when it's the other way around, she did not uphold the same morals or standards. And so I said to myself, I don't want a friend like this, you know? And so I cut her off. I deleted her off my social media after repeated times of like, just, I, I felt like she was misusing our friendship completely. And so in the end, I said to myself, you know, I'm not about this. I'm not going to entertain this. It was really crazy. And so, yeah, definitely after the fact, she tried to hit me up on Facebook again after she realized I removed her from my platform. And she was like, hey, why did you remove me off Facebook? You know, what did I do? What, you know, what's going on? What's going on? I'm like, it's very clear to see that you do not value our friendship highly. It's very clear to see that you take it as a joke. And so if we're not friends, why are you on my Facebook? 
And I told her that I was very candid. I don't, there's nothing to make up. It's the proof is in the pudding, right? And she felt some type of way about that. She was trying to say, hey, that's not what it was. You know, I do like you. Hey, let's go out today, you know? And it's like, nah, too little, too late because it's fake. You set it up in this way and it's not going to work. So yeah, def and that's just one of many, many, many instances that have happened to me where people act like they just don't know what they did. They act like they didn't play no type of hand in, you know, the breakdown of a union. They act like it just wasn't nothing like that. It was not that bad. But they know. They know. And so when they try to come back and try to gaslight or make you seem like or act like you're tripping, you're overreacting, they know. They know what they did. <laughs> it reminds me of that movie. They know what they did. You know, I know what you did last summer. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's eerie. It's weird. Like, they know what they did, right? They know exactly what they've done, and they continue to do it a lot of the times because they think either, you know, you don't have no backbone to speak up or because if you come off as very kind, very friendly, you know, very hospitable, very sweet, very understanding, these are the type of qualities people like. When they have these qualities, they like when you have those qualities because they could take advantage of you. So be very careful here. Those folks know what they did. They know what they did, all right? And so we got to really question whether or not we want these sort of folks around. It could be anybody. It could be a family member who did something bad to you, a friend, you know, a colleague, a boss. These people will literally perpetrate wrongful acts against you and then make it seem like, like when you start, you know, exposing what they've done or when you start talking about it or complaining about it they fall back like hey it wasn't like that I didn't do that you misinterpreted the entire situation it's like no I didn't misinterpret nothing all right I see clearly what you've been perpetrating it's not an isolated incident as well that would be their crutch if it was but it's not a lot of the times this is something that is ongoing a continuous bad action or bad deeds that are put on us it's clear to see that, you know, these people know what they're doing, you know? So, you know, this, this is the thing. Like, we want to really make sure that who we have around us and who we have in our corner, these people are solid, right? We do not... There are so many things to achieve, right? The very last thing that we want are these kinds of people around, are these kinds of, um, you know, ne this type of negativity, this type of drama, this type of weirdness, do we really want that? We really got to think about that. And I always say, take stock, you know, of your surroundings, take stock of the people that you have around you, the people that you hold dear, because these are some of the same people who will act like they can do anything to you. And then after that, act like they didn't do anything. All right. So definitely stay vigilant. Thank you guys all so very much for stopping by for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you guys so very much. Thank you for the well wishes. I hope everything's well with all of you, of course, and keep going up, stay up, stay grounded, stay happy, stay hydrated, keep yourselves well. All right. If you're in a cold climate, as a lot of us are, it's wintertime. Keep yourselves warm. All right. And keep going up. All right. Take care. Bye.